let's move on from the planning of a smart building to the heart of a building, so to say, to a building automation. Now, this is where reliable controllers and applications are required um, for maximum energy efficiency, of course, but also uh, for uninterrupted operation around the clock. To tell us um, what the latest generation of controllers from Siemens can do, we're going to go back to Zug once again and welcome Christian Conte. Christian, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thanks a lot, Chris, uh, for the introduction and uh, welcome everybody. Um, so, so this is your turn. Uh, this session is about uh, control of high performing buildings and uh, control of high performing buildings in particular with a new device family out of the house, the Zigo, the PXC4 and the PXC5. So this is nothing less uh, than the start of a new era of the Sega uh, building automation that begins with these two devices. Um, and you see them right here uh, on screen. It's the PXC4 for HVAC plant automation, uh, as well as the PXC5. It's, uh, so to say, small, uh, bigger brother for system functions and integration, such as backnet routing, device supervision, and, and integration via, again, backnet and, and Modbus. And you see these devices are all new in terms of uh, look and feel. They're very compact, and, and they're not only new uh, from, from the outside, they're also really very powerful from the inside. Uh, what we did for these new devices, we uh, completely overhauled our uh, DeSeco engineering um, framework, our, our engineering tools. It's now really quite intuitive. Uh, it, it makes it possible for, for you guys to, to execute your projects in an easier way, uh, more efficient, uh, faster, with, with more reliability in terms of uh, not making mistakes on the project. And if mistakes happen, um, to actually detect them and, and remove them uh, more, more quickly and more efficiently. Uh, the devices, uh, PXC4 and 5, they're also uh, really open by design, and that means they, they exhibit open interfaces. Uh, they support BACnet, uh, Modbus, uh, RTU, and TCP for, for seamless integration, and they're really also very compact uh, in the way they are designed, and we'll go a bit uh, deeper into that in a second. Also, the devices, they provide uh, various and very easy access uh, possibilities, and, and that is both for locally, when, when you are really standing next to the device and you just want to connect to it in order to do a commissioning job, uh, as well as uh, remotely, when, when you are sitting in your office, uh, there is some uh, issue on, on one of your sites and, and you want to you wanna fix it without actually um, taking the two hours to, to drive on site uh, and back, and, and also there we'll, we'll go into uh, details in a second. Um, of course, with, with such a new generation of devices, which is networked, uh, which has a lot of possibilities to, to connect to it, uh, security is, is paramount. And uh, we really built these devices for you with uh, security in mind. They, they have a lot of built-in features um, to not only make it possible for you, guys, for, for you guys to build secure systems for your customers, but also to do that in a really uh, easy way uh, without essentially having to be uh, absolute specialists in, in, in cybersecurity. You can still use, your uh, use our new devices and then do so in a really safe way. Let's dive in here a little bit. So uh, point by point, let's go through this. Intuitive engineering, wh what do we mean by that? Essentially, for the PXC4 and 5, we really overhauled our DeSigo engineering framework. Uh, essentially, the only tools that you need in, in terms of engineering and commissioning this new device family is ABT Site, which is our PC-based engineering tool that allows you to program, that allows you to configure IOs, that allows you even to um, engineer plant graphics and, and commission uh, the whole system, uh, as well as our ABT Go mobile commissioning tool, which is available uh, on Android and iOS. Uh, which makes uh, commissioning for you uh, then again just a bit more efficient uh, still. And it's really only these two pieces of software that uh, you essentially 
need to learn and master and, and you guys need to learn and master in order to work productively in, in projects. And uh, it's really not a matter of weeks to learn that software. It's a matter of um, studying some e-learning material, uh, going on a first job and, and within weeks uh, on the job uh, and maybe a few days of training if, if you want your guys really to become specialists, uh, you will have productive teams that are able to uh, execute uh, customer projects. Now, this engineering is, is so crucial because uh, our devices, they exhibit a really open design. They're open by design. And that means in particular, uh, they're integrating different uh, protocols really on that device without the need for extra hardware or extra software uh, with these uh, consistent and harmonized uh, workflows provided by, by our DeSeco engineering framework. And uh, so essentially uh, that makes it very easy uh, for you to uh, make integration on BACnet, make integrations on, on Modbus, RTU and TCP, uh, use those onboard IOs to really realize customer solutions flexibly and quickly. And what I would like to mention here is that this is kind of a starting point. Our hardware for the PXC4 and 5 is already equipped uh, to be expanded on the functional side by also uh, KNX integration support and MBUS um, integration support. So in that sense, this is really a beginning of the journey. Now, um, in terms of access, right, we were uh, going into that a little bit uh, in the beginning of the presentation. There is, there is especially uh, two features which I would like to point out here for you. The first one is for local access. When you're really standing next to the device, uh, maybe for a commissioning job, what you want to do is you want to quickly and uh, smoothly uh, connect to that device. And with the PXC4 and 5, the only thing that you essentially need to do for that is you need to push that little button on the device that you see magnified here uh, on the screen uh, a little bit and then the device uh, will activate its built-in wireless network to which you can then connect easily with your mobile device for example with ABT Go uh, to do your uh, commissioning job and that's really as easy as it gets and uh, you're not constrained and restricted by a wire connection and you can freely move around in the plant room and around the plant to really inspect whether everything is working as it should. And now the same ease of use we also provide uh, for, for the remote access. So the PXC4 and 5 essentially um, bring on board uh, connectivity functionality that allows you to connect uh, to these devices remotely via the cloud. And uh, in this way, you can really uh, at any time and, and from anywhere monitor and operate your systems. You can detect uh, faults and inefficiencies and you can remove these faults and inefficiencies even if they require engineering, even if you, uh, require, if, even if you are required to change the control program, you can do that and you can do that without actually driving from site, you can do that remotely. Now, of course, uh, with such devices that offer such various and extensive uh, connectivity options, uh, security is crucial. And, and I can uh, assure you that, device, that these devices, the PXC4 and 5, are really state of the art in this regard. Um, so for remote connectivity, we require secure connections and the PXC4 and 5 really provide these secure connections. Uh, so we have uh, our technology built in uh, that essentially um, has authentication, has end-to-end -end, uh, encrypted communication that makes it possible for you to really uh, use this remote connectivity in a, in a safe way and also in a really easy way. So you won't be required anymore to set up your your VPN servers on site and to maintain them for, for yourself and for your customers. Uh, the PXC4 and, and 5 brings this functionality on board and you can use it in an easy way without uh, going through a lot of trouble. So that's that. Uh, it's a beginning of uh, a new journey with a new family of the Seco devices. This PXC4 and PXC5 is really the first step in that direction. More steps will follow. Uh, for now, uh, I hope I could uh, spur your curiosity a little bit and encourage you to soon try these devices yourself and use them also in, in customer projects. It's now uh, your turn. And um, Chris, uh, I believe we have time for, for a few questions from the audience. Yes, Christian, and there are some questions. 
So here's the first one. Do the new devices have support for BACnet SC? So these new devices, um, when they are first, when they are first going to be released, they, they won't support BACnet SC yet. Uh, I can assure you internally, we are already uh, heavily working on that topic and you can expect uh, software updates uh, also for these two new devices uh, that then uh, makes our system support BACnet SC. Uh, then as, as uh, some of the not far away uh, future steps. So we are already uh, heavily working on that topic and we see it as one of the crucial topics actually, game-changing topics actually for our industry uh, to really stay competitive and, and have an impact. All right, so the answer wasn't no, it was not yet. Okay, next one. Do the new PXC devices ensure backward compatibility with old generation controllers? Uh, so that is a very good question, very interesting question. Thanks a lot. Now uh, we could uh, elaborate probably quite a bit uh, on, on what backwards com compatibility means. Um, so in terms of compatibility, uh, it's really kind of a, to some degree, um, clean slate. It's, it's a new system. It's a new uh, engineering uh, tool for, for these uh, new systems is new programming editor for example so when you uh, now we need to differentiate a little bit when you when you look at the um, existing Tesco PX primary controllers so there we we don't have a, a backwards uh, compatibility in in terms of the engineering right so the engineering tool is really new um, for the PXC4 and 5 you have ABT site and ABT go while for the um, existing the Zico PX primaries you have Xworks plus so on on the engineering it's really a new world. Um, of course, where we have um, compatibility is uh, for these devices that are already supported or have already been supported by ABT site in its uh, current version. And, and so for, for these devices, we have uh, the Desigo Room Automation portfolio, the DXR2 and the PXC3. And we also have our Desigo Control Point operation and monitoring uh, devices, the touch panels and the embedded web servers. So, so there we have compatibility in the sense that uh, you can use the same engineering tool uh, to actually engineer all these devices. Now for at runtime, of course, all these devices, uh, they speak BACnet, so you can uh, essentially bring them together. Uh, we do recommend, however, that you really, need, uh, that, that you really uh, use these new devices in, in smaller standalone projects where you can fully utilize the fact that you have one system, one engineering tool, and you can be really efficient. If you have, say, a campus that is uh, fully equipped with the Seco PX primary controllers of the current generation, and you have maybe now a new building on that campus, and, and you think, hey, this is really a great opportunity to now use the PXC4 and 5, uh, we could still encourage you to do that. Uh, we would recommend you then to do the integration of these two systems, uh, not directly on the automation level via BACnet, but via the Seco CC, which supports both the existing and the new product line fully. All right, we have time for one more question. To manage the PXCs, uh, there we go, to manage the PXCs offsite remotely, what would we need to connect? Just online access? Do you think going online is safe? No more hard hardware requirements? So these were three questions, I believe. So what do I need to connect? Is it safe and do I need hardware? Um, so for the first one, um, what do I need to connect? Uh, there, is, there is essentially uh, two ways. Uh, you can either connect directly via the browser, and that will allow you to tunnel via the Siemens cloud uh, directly to the controller that you have installed on site and see uh, essentially everything that it delivers via its uh, embedded web server. So you can tunnel in uh, on one hand directly via the browser. The second opportunity to connect uh, remotely is via the engineering tool. So in ABT site, there is one um, connectivity variant where you can say, hey, uh, let's tunnel into some site directly via the cloud and you will authenticate directly out of ABT site. And uh, these are essentially the two, the two access points. Now, are they safe? Absolutely. 
both of them are safe. And uh, do I need extra hardware for that? No, I don't. This is a really pure uh, software-based, very easy to use uh, remote access functionality. All right, and if we're really quick, we can get one more in, Christian, one more. What's the role of okay. PXC5 versus PXC4? And can the PXC4 be used without the PXC5? So the PXC4 can absolutely be used uh, without the PXC5. Uh, the distinction is essentially the PXC4 is a device designed for equipment control, and that's why it has uh, onboard IOs, and that's why it can also be extended with IO modules uh, that really can um, read in and, and write out hardwired signals or signals via hard wires from sensors and two actuators. And the PXC5 is a system controller. It doesn't have any IOs, and it's really meant primarily uh, as, a, as a system controller for supervisory purpose. So you can, for example, route backnet communication with it. You can supervise other devices with it. You can integrate larger subsystems uh, with it on backnet and Modbus. So that's really the distinction between the two devices, um, PXE4 equipment and PXE5 system scope. And yes, you can also use the PXE4 standalone if you have a very small system with maybe just one or two pieces of equipment. That's absolutely possible. All right. Thank you very much, Christian. You All have right. a great day and uh, see you again later.